string of car break-ins in Ansonia as police warning people to lock those car doors. News H. Jeff Allen explains why when the weather gets cold, these types of crimes heat up. We've got about 13 reports of items taken from the vehicles. Those thefts from vehicles parked in the hilltop section of Ansonia's east side all since Saturday. Taking loose change, electronics, uh, anything that was kind of any value out of each vehicle. And not for the first time. Ansonia police say they've seen this kind of trouble before. The last time we had a rash of, of these happening over on the east side, my officers, you know, they came around the corner, they saw them, they, they ran off, but we were able to catch a few of them. In this latest rash of thefts, police say the perps have had it pretty easy, finding plenty of unlocked cars just by checking door handles. And in this cold weather, they say there's another element of vulnerability. It is cold. People are warming up their cars. Then running back to finish getting ready for work, leaving their cars idling unlocked. I did it this morning even after I saw your piece on the news about leaving it open. And, uh, you know, because it is when, you, when it's cold out, you don't like getting in that... that that coal vehicle. Do you start your car and then go back in the house? Yeah, I do, but uh, I keep an eye on it, you know? Yeah. And I watch out the window, so I know there's a lot of dirt balls around. Making for an obvious, if unfortunately necessary, solution. If you're going to warm it up, um, use a second set of keys. Lock the keys in the car um, and then, you know, bring, unlock it when you go back out. And always, no matter where you keep your car, hide valuables or take them out altogether and lock those doors. In Ansonia, Jeff Vallon, News 8.